So I knew Jen since we were in first grade because we met at cheerleading. And by far, my favorite memories are our days horseback riding. So we horseback rode at several barns, um, North Star, Rocking Horse, uh, went stables um, over like a span of 10 years and it was definitely the sport that me and Jen, I wouldn't go to the barn without her. It was something that we did together. Lessons, camp, shows, buying horses. Um, and my, some of my, one of my memories that I believe it was North Star Stables was when um, I had a horse named Laser. Jen had this horse named Sammy that we always rode every day. And I begged Jen and I was like, let's please switch so that um, cause I really want to ride hers because Jen loves Sammy so she's, he's a great horse. So I really wanted to give him a try. And she finally gave in and was like, all right, we can switch for a little bit right at the end of our uh, lesson. And as soon as she gets on my pony and I get on hers, I'm, I'm loving her horse, of course. And <laughs> my pony takes off with Jen on her. Um, and ends up, Jen ended up flipping over and onto a railing and she is totally, was fine from this. Um, but I will never forget how bad I felt that day because I convinced her to switch with me. And of course, like what are the chances that that would have happened? So it was just a crazy, crazy thing that happened in our um, horseback riding days. But um, in another memory, of course, is, um, you know, we appreciate Michelle always bringing us to lessons, dropping us off, um, bringing us to camp, dropping us off. And um, she would always come in making a bold statement with her high heels, which if anyone goes to a horse barn, you just don't wear high heels. So um, we were very well known with the help of Michelle that um, as just being uh, some funny people who love to horseback ride. All about, huh? Just what it's all about. All about money. All about hoes. Yes. All about cars. All about clothes. Ooh. All about this. All about that. Okay. All about clean. Uh. All about clay. Yeah. All about money. All about hoes. Yeah. All about cars. All about clothes. Yeah. All about this. Yeah. All about okay. that. Uh. All about clean. Yeah. All about clay. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about bricks. Uh. It's all about goods. Okay. It's all about. I would probably say that Jen was scared more of the owner at Mackey's because she had to be the first one to go in and say that we were leaving and quitting after only being there for about three weeks. But another thing we also argued over was who the owner's sister liked better because we would work with her in the morning and I still think that she liked me a little bit better. But we never ended up working together because we never told the managers that we knew each other, were friends, or were even living together. So we never even worked with each other until the very last week before we had to leave. But it overall was a great experience. So I'm pretty sure it was at a Florida Georgia Line concert a few summers ago, but it was right in the middle of the tailgate, so I don't fully remember, drank a little bit too much, but... It was fun. <laughs> so I had met Je or TK a, a few times when Jen brought him around, but I really feel like I knew he was the one for her when we went to the beach for a weekend. And he was always quiet before when he was around, but at the beach, he got to open up. I got to hear a sense of humor and I got to see the way that they interacted and how he treated Jen and how Jen acted towards him and I could just tell that it was something different than what uh, I'd seen in the past and he really was the one for her. Well, um, in high school, Jen actually really wanted to try out for the tennis team. Um, I did this with my sister. Um, we had never played tennis before at all. We were very clumsy. And Jen was like, come on guys, you can do it. You can, you know, try out for the tennis team with me. You just have to practice. We have two weeks until the tryouts. You can do this. So for the, the two weeks that we were, um, you know, practicing, we got lessons and stuff. We did a camp with her. We tried out with her and Jen made it and we didn't. <laughs> but it was great. <laughs> Hmm, so my most embarrassing memory with Jen is definitely going to have to be when we went to church together and our family sat in the front pew uh, and it must have been a longer than usual sermon and Jen kind of zoned out from Monsignor Wargo's speech and she let out a yawn, but it was a yawn that had noise. It was an audible yawn. 
Let me see if I can do a demonstration for you. And then all of church just stopped and stared at Jen, including the priest and the altar boys. Oh, absolutely. So I was at the gym, I was on the bike, and I saw Jen walk in, and uh, Tyler was at the gym. He was home from Christmas break, and I saw Jen, and I said to Tyler, I said, did you see that girl that came into the gym? I said, she's really a cutie. He says, Mom, I'm already on it. According to my text, then comes a jibby, yeah. That ain't no bibby, yeah. And now I'm up to my knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thug would tell it to me. We're doing the phone dance. You study the answers again and again till I get it. Hi, Milo. Who's your favorite parent? Who? Who? <gasps> me, your favorite parent. My first memory of Jen was when her and Hillary were doing cheerleading and I met Chris at that cheerleading practice and I didn't watch you guys, I just went to go hang out by the little river and Chris was there hanging out with his sweater vest and then we became friends and then soon our parents started planning play dates and it's all uphill from there. Hold on, I'm cleaning the house again. Okay. Like I normally do. Oh boy, when TK asked me to marry Jen, I was like, oh no, not again. Here's another Tyler asking for my daughter's hand in marriage. But this time I knew it was different. Because this time I knew it was for the right reasons. That TK truly loves Jen. And that I could be more happy and proud to say yes for him to marry her daughter. I did on November 7, 2015. A little, but I knew leading up to that that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with Jen, so it was pretty easy.